Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. So first of all, I wanted to say thank you to those friends who have left me so many comments on my previous videos. Um, I think your comments are really thoughtful and supportive of what I'm doing. It really helps me to get going, to create in my art journal every day and to share my passion and skills with you continuously. So thank you so much for doing that. And secondly, I would like to thank you to those friends who um, bought me cups of coffee on coffee.com. It really encouraged me to uh, keep creating more videos for this YouTube channel. So today in this video, I want to focus on how to get over mental blocks when we're creating, whether when we're creating a drawing, painting, a sketch, in a sketchbook or um, doing large artworks, we often experience mental blocks that, that kind of um, stops us or prevents us from creating or keep going in a consistent basis. I think it's um, not really possible to get rid of mental blocks because they always come back and the only way that we can deal with them is to, you know, to have self-talks in order to get over them. So topic number one I want to talk about is that we need to let go of perfections. So a lot of people think that being perfect is to pursue a style of realism, to make their drawings and paintings look exactly the same like the thing that's out there or that looks like a photograph. So for me, I think it's not really possible to achieve perfection in sketching. Unless we're a camera, then we can capture every single detail in pixels. We're humans and we always make mistakes, and those mistakes can be beautiful, even though they're not perfect. I've been seeing so many um, loose styles of drawings and paintings over the years, and I really love those line works and washes and brush marks. You know, that looks really abstract. They're not perfect, they're not realistic, but they're capturing those drops of life on paper or on canvas. I think the goal of drawing, painting, and sketching is to capture the essence or the necessary parts, you know, that gives life to the sceneries or the things that we're observing. It's not to capture every single detail that's out there, which is not possible. It's going to take us so many, many, many hours or even months and years to be able to capture every single detail that's out there. That's not possible to do when we're sketching. So we really need to relax and only seeing the most important parts in the scenery and the colors in it the overall atmosphere that we want to capture, that we want to express. So the reason I like sketching everything is that everything contains the essence of life, including food and sceneries, plants, the sky. And I think the way to get to let go of perfection is to not envision the final result. So just kind of focus on the moment right now, focus on the single line and brush stroke that you're creating. So focus on the moment that we're seeing, reacting, and expressing on paper using lines and brush strokes. So just focus on that and slowly build up your drawing and painting over time. Two is that don't envision the final result. So pretty much all of the times when I do a sketch, the final result is always unexpected. I never envision the final result. I envision the size and placement on the uh, on my art journal page, but I never really envision what it's going to look finally in the final in the final stage. So that's why I'm always happy, always satisfied, and that keeps me going to create more sketches over the weeks, months, and years. So when we're envisioning the final result, like for example, okay, I want I want to draw this scenery exactly the same like one artist, like someone else's style. I want to be like him or her. 
I want to create that perfect wash and detailed style, just like that artist. Um, I think that is a huge burden on ourselves because everyone create in a different way, all right? Every everyone is having a different psychological process when we're observing and putting that line and wash on paper. So when I'm not focusing on envisioning the final result, the process becomes very meditative on the moment, and the final result is always refreshing for the eyes to see. So the drawing process should be more like an adventure instead of like a, a predicted journey. An adventure is kind of like you're going, you're drawing, you're painting, you're adding that mark on paper, and you don't really know what the next moment is going to bring. It's kind of like um, Boris Gump's mother, who said that life is like a box of chocolate. You don't know what the next is going to taste like. So the same as our creative journeys. It's actually a good way to not know what the final result is. But this final result is always going to bring us happiness and sweetness. So number three, point number three that I want to talk about is don't compare yourselves with others or other artists. Um, because I think every human being should develop their own styles of drawing and painting and ways of creating. Because we're, we, all, we, have, we all went through different life events, different psychological journeys. and and from this from this way, it's not really possible for us to create in the same way because we all experience the world in different ways. And we have formed our understanding of the world and life context in different ways. And that's why we should be creating in different art styles. And I also think that not all techniques and approaches from other artists are ad adaptable to all of us. Because I know artists work in certain way because they want to express their feelings in their own unique, specific symbols. So more specifically, to discover our own styles is to find what kind of line work, what kind of color wash, brush strokes works for us. So for me, I think um, I have my own way to use lines when sketching and my own ways of layering watercolors um you don't have to follow exactly what i do um but i think my process is a really good reference for you to know how watercolor works and how to draw um, better in more detail but you don't have to um, compare your process with me you have to trust and follow your own sense of seeing observing and understanding the things in front of you the scenes that you see Art is actually a process of creating abstract symbols. So we need to focus on seeing in a more abstract way, all right? So we need to um, translate what we see. What we see in real life are um, very, very complex. We need to simplify and turn those shapes, textures into very symbolic and simplistic circles, dots, dashes, broken lines, wavy lines, um, circles, looping, looping lines, whatever that is. There's so, many, there's so many ways to draw a wavy line. And there's so many ways to draw um, circles too. So I think that we really need to find our own symbols of drawing and painting or from our own conceptions of life, our own understandings instead of just merely copying other artists' techniques. So I think actually we are our own best teachers and we learn a lot from our own personal experiences. And number four is that it really takes time. It takes time to finish a drawing. So usually for me, it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes for some other larger sketches, it can take me up to one hour to finish. It takes time to finish one sketch and takes a little bit longer to finish one page and one page spread. And it takes even longer to fill up the whole sketchbook art journal. 
And so we need to be really, really patient with this process. And also, it really takes time to improve our skills and to find our own styles and just let the creative flower to bloom by itself instead of pushing it. Because the more we push, the more pressure and stress that we experience. And the more we push, there's more chance that we um, give up altogether. So it's, it's really important to just focus on today. So maybe you can say today, I just want to do one sketch. I want to just take 10 to 15 minutes and that's it. No more. There's no need to uh, finish a whole page or whole page spread in one single day. Even if you're just taking 10 minutes every day to do a one little sketch, you will fill up a page in about seven days or maybe 10 days and you will eventually finish filling up your sketchbook. Maybe it takes one year or two, then that's okay. You will finish it one day. It's better than not doing it at all. All right, so that's it for today. I think I have covered a lot of information and inspirations for you. And so thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click like and leave me a comment of what you think below. If you have any questions, any suggestions of what you want to see in my future videos, please leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. And I will see you very soon next time.